Welcome to tutorial number 66. We'll be exploring the newly found hack which allows you to uh, ring mod and sync without actually using Oscillator 3. Um, this was uh, invented by someone in Pittsburgh who communicated with me and I'm now communicating with you. So we start with the net patch. Starters, we'll put Oscillator 1 on a sine wave. Leave it 8 foot, take its volume down to zero. Go to oscillator 2, let's go to a wavetable. Any will do. Pulse sweep is nice. Set the pulse width to 64 for now. And set its volume down to zero. And you will hear absolutely nothing. I'm going to go to the oscillator common page. Set, set ring mod to full. Or 127. That's fine, but that's not the hack. The hack is, is to turn sync on to oscillator 3 whilst leaving oscillator 3 off. Let's take a listen to what happens when I play with the semitones. That's pretty cool. So we could create, say, an envelope. We're adding some uh, amplitude envelope here, starters. And set up an envelope for controlling both the pitch and the pulse width. And we use envelope 3 for that. Set the attack to about uh, 96. Uh, decay to 96. And we go to the mod matrix. Say envelope 3 controls O2 pitch. Let's go up plus 42 and listen to what it does. Then we go and set a slot, envelope 3, to O2 pulse width, say plus 56. So I believe I set the pulse width to 64, which is correct. Let's play with the octaves. I'm going to add some drive onto this. Make some sound effects with that. That's something you can experiment with. I'm going to show you a finished patch, which is G08 uh, GTEC A. Have a good afternoon. Time to put it on YouTube.